Hello, 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 and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Maxine, and I'm coming to you with another speed build this week. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing well, staying healthy and taken care of. I will say I am feeling a little bit of summertime sadness because summer is coming to a close rapidly. Um, and I definitely this summer have relished in the summer and have had a great time and I hate to see it go because yesterday the sun set it was like 7 38 and I could have cried I'm gonna miss the sun being out late um I, I do look forward to the fall hence this build um it is definitely inspired by autumn the upcoming season but I'm going to miss the summertime we got a little bit of a false fall um here last week it was about in the 60s, uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which it was like crisp and it was cool. The sun was out, but it was definitely a lot cooler than it's been. However, this week we are back in a little bit of a heat wave. So uh, today it is a high of, I think, 85. Yesterday it was 95. So we are fluctuating quite a bit, but um, autumn is upon us soon as August comes to a close. So this build was inspired by those fall colors that I know will soon come around. I do live in an area that has a very distinctive fall. Uh, I live in the Northeast. And so we have the colors come through. We get all the beautiful burnt oranges and yellows and the dark forest greens, um, the, the trees change. Uh, so I, I really get to see the seasons change, which I love. I know some people who live in the South or um, in other countries, they don't have distinct seasons. And so I know that that is such a privilege. Um, so I will try to relish in it, even though I hate the winter, which I know is right after the fall. The fall does not last long enough. <laughs> um, I said in my discord yesterday, I said, if it could be 75 degrees, like a high of 75 degrees every day of the year, I would be in bliss, but that is not the case. Um, so uh, but yeah, a little bit about this build <laughs> as I ramble on. It is, again, how I said, it's inspired by the fall. It is cozy. I love how cozy this came out. Um, I typically don't build on lots that are this small. And if I do, I don't make the houses this big. At least I don't think. I'm saying that, but I actually, I don't know if I do. I don't know what I typically do. But um, let's just say this build takes up most of the lot. And I do make it a little bit bigger. Um, you'll see that in a few moments here, but uh, it is built for a family. Um, I'm really excited to get back into some family building. It is two bedrooms upstairs, um, one for a set of twins, and it's a little bit more masculine, so maybe some twin boys, and then a teenager who is really into music and fashion and makeup, which you'll see. Um, but I definitely, can like, brought all the fall colors all throughout the home so every room has the beautiful browns and oranges and um, like dark reds that fall brings so uh, you'll see that as well and I did use some of the pumpkins that we have that we got with Henford on Bagley in this build oh yeah this build is in Henford on Bagley on the Cumble Bottom Street which or Cobble Bottom Street which is the street that Miss Crumple Bottom in her purse lives on so uh if you play Henford on Bagley gameplay you know what's up <laughs> with Miss Crumple Bottom in her purse uh she is a epic epic uh, sim towny, I guess you could say. She's about as epic as Bob Pancakes at this point to me. Um, I was actually thinking about doing a bunch of towny makeovers with CC. Um, so I, because I really just want to replenish my save file with new and improved sims because I'm going to be getting back into gameplay soon. So let me know if you want to see that on the channel. If you want me, want to see me record that, I'll probably be doing most of that on Twitch. But anyway, uh, more about this build. Um, right now I am getting the floor plan together and it ends up being, um, the primary bedroom for the parents downstairs. I think that's like a signature at this point for me. Like I have to have the parents downstairs. I don't know why it's not a hundred percent of the time, but it just makes a lot more sense. And I know in homes today, like 
you know, when I look at YouTube, because I'm always on real estate. I'm on real estate talk. I'm on real estate Instagram. I love looking at real estate. Um, a lot of like the primary bedrooms, the biggest bedrooms will be downstairs. And then, you know, any secondary bedrooms will all be upstairs. And I think that is cool. I know older homes that doesn't necessarily fit older homes usually put the primary bedroom upstairs but in a lot of the new houses the primary bedroom is downstairs so i can really vibe with that <laughs> me myself personally uh, but yeah we have the living room and a dining room and then a nice little cozy kitchen downstairs along with the primary suite and yeah i think about the family that'll live here i feel like they are either um, like work in Henford on Bagley as some type of, you know, small business, maybe a little gift shop type thing. Uh, cause their home is very cozy, but it's humble. It's not super fancy. It's not super run down either. It's kind of in the middle. Um, I feel like maybe they're just like middle class, you know, just doing the best they can with what they have and providing for their family. Uh, their kids aren't super spoiled, but they're definitely taken care of. Uh, so I tried to tell that story through a lot of the, the build. And I really think this house, even past fall, would be great to play with a family because it's not super large. Um, so it's easy for that gameplay. So your Sims aren't traveling far distances taking forever to get places i know for people who really play the game they usually even play with you know one story homes um or smaller family homes because of you know how long it takes sims to get from place to place so i kept that in mind as well uh, when building this for my gameplay lovers out there and uh right now we're doing some windows i did go a little bit um cottage living crazy on this one uh, i usually don't use a lot of cottage living but it just fit obviously we're in the world of hemford on bagley that came with the pack so using a lot of the wall paints and windows and um flooring that came with it just really fit obviously and fit the world and i just love this style of home this kind of traditional suburban style i don't really know if it's that traditional but i i love the the wrap around porch which originally i was going to wrap around the entire first floor but it just wasn't practical for what i was trying to do with it so i ended up just having a little side porch with the um exit like having an exit down on the second floor so you have the front door then you have a little side door which is pretty common where i am i, I see a lot of people in the suburbs with little side doors when, I, when i'm in the suburbs <laughs> i see that uh so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave you with some music. Oh, well, before I go, actually, sorry for the whiplash, but I was wondering what are some of your favorite fall activities to do? Um, with the fall coming up, usually there's festivals and cute little cozy little events like apple picking or uh, pumpkin patching or pumpkin carving or even spooky stuff let me know in the comments i'm always curious what other people do around this time uh, because it's my birthday in november and then my partner's birthday in october my schedule is usually chock full of things to do during this time uh, just because of the nature of birthdays and celebrations um, but I think this year I really want to take advantage of maybe going to different festivals of some sort um, little cozy cute festivals that uh, I can get some good eats because during this time a lot of great baked goods come around um, I love pumpkin I eat a lot of pumpkin just in general, like pumpkin soup. Um, and I love like pumpkin, uh, what is it called at Trader Joe's? They have this, um, it's like a pumpkin spread, a pumpkin jam. I forget what it's called, but it's, it's, it's like a pumpkin sweet jam and it's so good. Sometimes I'll put that in a smoothie and like you don't need any other sweetener at all. No honey, no nothing. It tastes so good if you put that in with some a little bit of canned pumpkin with some protein powder and some almond milk you have a cozy little protein drink um sorry now i'm rambling but uh yeah i want to do some more um autumnal things in my city because i know we have a lot of great things here to do last year i did go to a cider fest which was fun um like apple cider which is kind of like beer but not um and so i don't do spooky stuff 
at all. We do have ghost tours in my city, but I am not into the spooky stuff. I know it's spooky season. I do not like it. I like cute spooky, you know, a ghost that's smiling or Casper, the friendly ghost. I do not like spooky. So, uh, but yeah, let me know what you do in your town, in your city, in your country. Um, if autumn is like a big deal where you are in the fall and you have some activities you do, I want to know what are y'all up to? Because I need some inspiration I'm trying to get out the house and beat the winter blues before they get here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave you with some cozy music to have on in the background while you play this. I hope with back to school or back to work or whatever the case may be for you is that this season goes well and you accomplish all of those goals that you may have for yourself. And I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.
trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope